Okay, William and Mary introduced its new men's basketball coach today. He is 47 year old Brian Earl, who spent the last seven seasons as head coach of Cornell out of the Ivy League. And there he was at packed house at the presidential suite at Zabel Stadium. Earl entering the room with his wife and children. He's a graduate of Princeton and he worked as an assistant at Princeton before taking over the head job at Cornell. Now this past season, his team went 22 and eight and just lost to Ohio State in the NIT. Earl's teams like to run it up and down the court and play some tight defense. He takes over for Dane Fisher, who was head coach of the tribe for five seasons. It's um, obviously a beautiful place. I have a young family and there's things to do here a uh, little warmer than what I'm used to. And I have experience at similar institutions and um, there's, a, there's an opportunity here to grow the program and, and try to win some games. So it checked almost every box, I would say, all of them if I could say it. He does on paper have a lot of the things that we were looking for, but there's something else there. There's a guy who is honestly and authentically committed to a world-class education and winning championships in basketball. A lot of people will talk about it. If you spend any length of time with him, you'll figure out quickly it's, it's part of his DNA, it's who he is, and, and I know he's gonna bring that to William & Mary. Now, William & Mary is actually one of the four original NCAA teams to never make the tournament. The Tribe, they've been close. Tony Shaver got them to the conference championship game four times. Now it's Earl's turn to try and get the Tribe to the big dance. So there's no guarantees, but we're going to fight hard to try and get uh, to the NCAA tournament. We're going to bring in guys who, who represent the school in the best way possible every day. I want to get to the NCAA tournament as much as everybody else. But I think that we first have to build a program that puts us in position to get there. I think he's proven he can do that. And if he had stayed at Cornell any length of time beyond this, I'm sure he would have been there again. Now Coach Earl's going to hit the road recruiting as he begins this new chapter up in Williamsburg. According